Um, Paul, tell me about some of the specific challenges that you're seeing enterprises encounter as they move to create uh, mobile device management solutions for their employees and, and really enterprise uh, uh, applications for their internal and external use. Yeah, on the mobile uh, device management side, you know, companies are still, you know, toying with, uh, you know, what what do they need, what do they need. Uh, they look at BYOD versus corporate liable management, so there, there's still a, a fair amount of uh, decision making going on in that area but once they make the decision to you know of the type of mobile device management solution they want you know we see the next big challenge for them is then being able to take those devices and being able to you know potentially automate some of the workflows in their company maybe provide some real-time information uh, to certain uh, you know organizations uh, and take advantage of all those mobile devices tablets you know that they're now managing mm -hmm. and that definitely is a challenge so, um, historically, Globo's had the, the container business, and, and then you've got the mobile device management. Recently, you bought a company called SourceBit. Correct. How does that fit into your solution? Well, our strategy is to be able to, you know, approach an enterprise and, and basically look at them uh, in, in two ways. One is to uh, provide solutions for their uh, employees, uh, you know, what we call B2E applications, where we may take back-end information and be able to push it out to their mobile devices. But then one if that company has you know a consumer base and they want to build a, a consumer based application but well, we wanted to be able to provide them a solution as well so we like companies to be able to look at Globo and basically recognize the fact that we can provide employee based solutions or consumer based uh, solutions applications uh, for their company and and those are like two different skills but we uh, have combined them into, into our mobility business solutions group so that we can go into a customer and say look we can provide you, you know, this for the employees, this for your, uh, for your uh, consumers. Can you give me an example uh, from one of the key verticals you're you're approaching, whether it be legal, healthcare, or education? What are, can you give me a use case of a, a turnkey solution? Uh, let me think about that. What I'm, uh, I would say uh, in our government uh, practice, we do the uh, EEOC, which is a government agency, equal opportunity. Uh, uh, and we provided them both management uh, capability uh, and managing their mobile devices. And at the same token, we're discussing with them, uh, looking forward at applications that, uh, that they may want to uh, put on those mobile devices. Um, I, I think what's interesting is that uh, customers kind of see this as sequence. They want to get the devices under management, right. and, and then they want to start talking to you about, okay, now what can I do with those devices that will, you know, improve the, you know, efficiency, performance, uh, you know, simple things like just even automating a form, right? right? Mobilizing a form, being able to do those kind of things. A lot of the companies don't realize uh, that it can be done. It can be done actually quite quickly, inexpensively, uh, and take advantage of, you know, all of those mobile devices that they have out there, including tablets. Well, uh, for the mid-market, execution from a vendor is critical. So maybe talk about, in closing here, uh, your execution capabilities, because many in the U.S. may not know Globo. And uh, right. So tell me, about how do you execute? How do you deliver on time well, I, within budget? Uh, right now, what we're doing is we're, we're building a combination of a direct uh, sales force, uh, targeting you know the mid-market. But the mid-market is, is quite large in the U.S., right? right. You've got the low end of the mid-market, the high end of the mid-market so at the high end you know we've got targeted named accounts at the low end we look at co cultivating uh, some partners down there to help us out you can't do it with just a, a direct sales force you've got to eventually have a that tier one of you know bars integrators whatever uh, working with you to, to go after that mid-market otherwise it just gets too costly to do it with a direct sales force and tell me about your fulfillment side on the execution of software development tell me about the organization you have well, on the on the on the uh, development side, we've got multiple development centers. We you know, we have centers in the U.S. and we have Europe uh, and, and in India and Bangalore. And so, you know, with the acquisition of SourceBits, you know, we've increased our development capability to not only applications, but we can use those people as well to help us with product development. All right. Thanks for your time, Paul. Thank you.